Welcome to our third video in our series on academic governance at TRU. In this video, we focus specifically on faculty councils, an often overlooked yet essential element in our governance structures at TRU. Each TRU faculty, school, or division is considered an academic unit and as such is required to have a council. Faculty councils are the senior academic governance body of your academic unit and there is no higher governance body at this level. The powers and responsibilities of faculty council are set out in Section 40 of the University Act. According to Appendix B of our Senate bylaws, each council is responsible at the divisional level for planning, priority setting, development, management and ongoing review of teaching research and other related programs and services of the faculty or school. This means that your faculty council makes the rules for the government, direction and management of your faculty or school and its affairs. So, any business of the department or faculty council standing committees or ad hoc committees must be discussed and voted on at the faculty council level before being moved on to the next level of governance. In conclusion, given the powers of faculty council and the fact that faculty members make up a significant majority of faculty council, it's clear that this governance body is an important one. So next week, we'll talk about strategies for ensuring that your faculty council is running effectively and fulfilling its legally mandated role in governance at TRU. Thanks again for watching and see you next week.